direct control, unencumbered by clunky peripherals. That's what the Leap Motion Controller promises, just like Xbox, Kinect, Toby and other so-called natural interfaces. But the Leap Motion does things a bit differently. For a start, it's small, not much bigger than a USB memory stick, and it tucks away discreetly next to your keyboard, from where it looks up at your gestures. It's also relatively affordable at $80, and it's actually here on the market. For your money, you get an overall feeling of polish, from the build quality down to the airspace launcher software and the web interface, which allows you to shop for, install and run around 75 different Leap compatible apps that are available at launch. Overall, it feels like someone has actually focused on the details. However, this sense of security falls down a little when you run the initial orientation app, which shows virtual fingers disappearing, wrists twitching and an inability to track your digits even when you rotate your hands quite slowly. Leap Motion works best when you keep it simple and when you learn how to use subtle movements to switch from hovering away from the screen to doing an action by moving your finger closer to the screen. After you spend a bit of time with Coral Painter Freestyle or with the Air Harp, you do start to get a feel for it. But even after some practice, it never feels totally natural. And perhaps most importantly for a mainstream audience, it can't replace your mouse as a means of precise control. The way our elbows are hinged just makes it very difficult to move a finger in one axis without also moving it in a second axis. For example, if you naturally jab your finger forward, it also feels like it has to droop slightly, causing you to select the wrong thing. For such a tiny gadget, the Leap Motion does some fun things surprisingly well, but it feels too imprecise for anything more serious. This may be the kind of problem that can be solved with software updates, but being an early adopter is going to be fraught with some frustration. And also some risks given that the Leap Motion will compete with the new Kinect version 2.0 coming next year. This has been Sharif for Engadget. Please check out our full review of the Leap Motion controller at Engadget.com.